All right, and we are back here on the GSMC Baseball Podcast. And for the final segment of today's show, we are going to go through the current power rankings that were released earlier this week um, on MLB.com. And then once again, uh, I know I mentioned the Patreon, so I just want to throw up the graphic again. So um, this is what you would look up on Patreon.com. You should just search up GSM, GSMC Sports Network. And that's where you can donate to the show and get exclusive content, which we greatly appreciate that. Um, so, yeah, let's run through the power rankings. So, uh, right now, well, at least earlier in the week. So, at number 30, they had the A's. And 29, they had the Royals, which uh, is really no surprise there. These two teams have 100 losses. And, uh, you know... These teams used to be good at one point. I, I talked about it the other day. The Royals, that was a team that won the World Series. And now look where they are. It's just crazy. And the A's, I mean, the reverse boycott they had earlier in the season, which actually was a lot of fun. I, I watched a little bit of that. That was a lot of fun. Having the, that whole stadium pretty much sold out. That was cool. Um, but, yeah, it's uh, the A's have been a mess as well. And... Um, yeah, it makes sense why they're towards the bottom. The Rockies, the White Sox, the Nationals, you know, the Rockies, I, I mean, they they'll make the they make the playoffs, you know, once in a while, but then they just they don't get that far. You know, they lose in the wild card round, they lose in the division series. They just they never really they can never really get to the ne take that next step. And right now they're again a bad team. You know, and the White Sox, I mean, we'll get into them at some point, but They've been a mess, um, you know. They could, they're gonna lose close to a hundred games, and it's a team that's got a lot of talent, but a lot of stuff is gonna be changing with them. You can imagine, and it's already started. So, Nationals, although they've, you know, they gave the Yankees some problems, which that's not really much to say because the Yankees haven't really been a good team. But well, when at least when I was watching them closely. You know, the Yankees broadcast, they would say how this team has been playing better baseball as of late. And they showed it because they uh, they took two out of three in the Bronx. They got some young players um, that can produce. Uh, C.J. Abrams, um, for example. So we'll just have to see. But another thing actually I'll have to touch upon at some point is uh, Steven Strasburg because he retired and now there's a lot of stuff going on with uh, with them and the Nationals. The Nationals don't want to give him the rest of his contract, and they canceled the retirement press conference. There's a lot to get into with that, um, so I'll have to touch upon that at some point. But, yeah, so they were at 26. Cardinals, Tigers, and Mets, the next three teams. Cardinals and Mets are part of that, you know, disappointment class of teams that I will, you know, do at some point. Um, you know, the Tigers... Miguel Cabrera is going to go out and retire this year. It's coming up. It's the final game. So at least that's the one thing Tiger fans, you know, can, uh, you know, take away from this season is watching him play one last time. But, yeah, that was another team that used to be so good and how far they've fallen since then. And Javi Baez, I mean, people just talk about how bad he is now. It's, uh, yeah. But they, um, I don't know. We'll have to wait and see with them. But, yeah, they uh, so they're at 24, Mets at 23, Angels at 22. I mean, there's a lot to unpack with the Angels, really. I mean, you know, we we, uh, we scratched the surface with them. We, we t we've talked about them a lot, but they uh, – it, it's really going to be interesting what happens, where Otani goes if they trade Trout. But, yeah, so they're at the bottom. Pirates, 21, got off to a hot start. Uh, but they actually went up two spots. I think um, there's like a number in parentheses next to their names. So I, I'm guessing, unless someone else knows this, it's from the previous week. So they moved up two spots. Uh, the Guardians went down two spots. They, they were at 20. Um, yeah, I, I had this team winning the division this year, but they dealt with injuries, and they just did not play as good as they did last year. And it's it's a weak division. Um. So then we get to 19 and 18, Yankees and the Padres. Another another couple teams that were really disappointing this year, um, especially the Padres. You know, with the lineup they had and 
you know, guys that they had in their rotation. Josh Hader, a closer. This was a team that a lot of people probably picked to go to the World Series, and they're not even going to make the playoffs. And they're ten, and they're they're nine games under five hundred, nine ten games under five hundred. It's just bad, really bad. Yankees. I don't really need to get into it, but yeah, they've had a they had they've had a rough go at it. Right now, it's I guess try to finish over five hundred. I don't know. Giants are at 17, Red Sox at 16, although the Giants have a better chance of making the playoffs right now than the Red Sox. Um, Giants are playing better baseball. Red Sox, they've been scuffling as of late. They you know, got swept in a doubleheader the other day against the Yankees, got a doubleheader today, and we'll see if they can you know, pick up a win against them. So then you got the Reds, the Marlins, and the Diamondbacks. 15, 14, and 13. And these are all teams fighting for that wild card spot. And it is going to get very hectic at the uh it's at the end of the year. I mean, it, what if the you're going to see teams that might be tied in that spot. It's possible. Twins you got a 12. Um, you know, they basically won the division by default. And I wouldn't be surprised if they get knocked out of the first round uh, in the wild card round. I, I wouldn't be surprised if that happens. Cubs at 11. Um, I They should make the playoffs. Um, right now, the, the gap between them and the Phillies, I don't know if they're going to catch the Phillies for the top spot, but uh, they got to start winning games to try to get that division because... You know, if they can uh, make up some ground going into that last series against the Brewers, that could be huge. Rangers have won five in a row. They've been playing really well, so they they were at ten. Uh, the Phillies at eight or nine, sorry. Um, you know, right now they're locked into they're pretty much locked into the spot they're in right now, the top wild card spot. And listen, this team could go back to the World Series. They got the lineup for it. Um, you have a really good pitcher in Zach Wheeler. So we'll just have to wait and see, but uh, they're locked in. Blue Jays were at eight, um, but I think going into next week they are definitely going to drop because the Rangers have really been beating them up this series. Uh, the Brewers are at seven. They've been looking good. Uh, like I said, their new addition, Josh Donaldson, he hit a home run the other day. Um, the pitching's been good. Woodruff, Corbin Burns. So it's their pitching is what, you know, what's got them to the playoffs you know it's just the the offense is what you know kind of shuts down and doesn't really do anything but and then the mariners were at six so i i think that could change so then the top five teams are the astros the rays the dodgers the orioles and then the braves um i mean i'm okay with that i you know i i feel like you know, right now, because the Astros, they, they're at 82 wins. Everybody else is, like, close to 90 or at 90. Or Well, th again, this was at earlier. This was earlier in the week. I think every team has got 90 wins right now. Actually, hold on a second. Do the Dodgers have 90 wins? i got to go back again. They got 88. So uh, they're 5-5 five and five in their last 10 games. Because um, this article came out. The power rankings came out for this week on uh, September 10th, so on Sunday. Um, but yeah, so I, uh, I don't really have a problem with the list. I mean, you could probably, I mean, I'd probably say the Dodgers are better than the Orioles still, but Orioles are, the Orioles deserve to be in the top three. Um, you know, and that Rays series is huge. It, that really could dictate the outcome of the division essentially. And, um, you know, we will just have to uh, we'll just have to wait and see. But that's basically the power rankings um, for this week. I uh, I don't really have any like big complaints with it. I think pretty much the teams are all where they need to be. Um, you know, the Astros. I mean, at five and the, being the last team in the top five, it's kind of um, you know when it comes to the playoffs, I like them better than the Rays and I like them better than the uh, the Orioles. Um, so I would put them at three, but this is going into the playoffs though. So we'll just have to, I mean, we'll just have to wait and see, but it's going to be, uh, 
it's going to be a lot of fun going into the playoffs. And, um, you know, I, I like I said, I don't really have any complaints with that. But, uh, yeah, so that's uh, that's the power rankings. And uh, we got a couple minutes left in the show. Kind of funny thing, so I, I was going to touch upon this in the beginning of the show, but I didn't. Uh, I thought I wasn't. I thought I was going to be in a dark room for the show. Um, I would still would have had my ring light. I still would have my my desk lamp to give me light. Uh, so I turned on my light as I was getting ready for the show today, and all of a sudden, the light flashed and the, all my lights went out. Everything, nothing was working with my my light fixture. Uh, so I was like, okay, looks like I'm going to be doing the show in the dark. Now I could, now my room's kind of dark because I have blinds because I want to, I don't want the sun, you know, coming into the, uh, coming into my room and shining on me while I'm trying to sleep. Um, so I would have just had to raise the blinds. So it would have been, it would have worked out. But I mean, I was like, again, we got something else going on. Like what, like what's happening that just things can't go. You know, because yesterday was the Wi-Fi connection and, and you know, my dad was vacuuming up some stuff because, like I said, my house was uh, getting redone. Well, the floor was getting redone. Um, but now, all of a sudden, now I got the lights in my room got to go out and I'm like, what? but my dad was able to fix it. It was just one light bulb went out, but for some reason, it just turned off like the whole, I don't know how that works. I'm not, I'm not an electrician, so I don't really know, but he, all he had to do was just you know, open up the, uh, open up the circuit, whatever, and flick the switch and everything was working again. So it was just one light bulb just kind of screwed everything up, but everything is back. Everything is working. We're good. And, uh, yeah, we were able to, and it wouldn't have been a big deal because I would have enough light. I would just have to open the blinds and I got two lights here, the ring light, you know, the latest addition, uh, to my, uh, my little setup here in my room but yeah that was just uh that was just something i had to deal with but um but yeah i wanted to uh bring that up um but yeah you know another day uh, another showdown tomorrow um will be the last show for the week so we got through now it's that it wasn't a full week because i i didn't have a show on monday i did post the show from last week had that up but um yeah i didn't um I didn't have a show on Monday because I was coming back from uh, from my cousin's wedding. But next week will be the first full week of shows. Five days, 11 to 12 live stream, and then the half-hour Patreon. So, um, again, if you want to see exclusive content, make sure to sign up for Patreon. Go to patreon.com and search up GSMC Sports Network. And... Uh, yeah, that's basically the show for today. It was a good show. I went fast. I mean, really every show that I've done so far has gone fast. And we've added 15 minutes on each time. And yeah, so I have, the, I'm pretty much done with this. And then I am going to, after this, because usually what I do is, I'll rec you know, I record the Patreon uh, right after this. So, um, and that's kind of just been, you know, going through the um you know what we talked about today on the show so i'll be pretty much go through every segment of the show today and um and then yeah and maybe touch upon some other stuff that i didn't get to um you know here so yeah that's basically what the patreon is but if you go and sign up we will greatly appreciate that and uh and yeah, that is, uh, that's pretty much it. So that is all the time that we have for today. I thank you for listening. Make sure to um, follow us on all our social media platforms, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Well, now it's called X. Um, so we greatly appreciate that. And we will be back tomorrow, 11 o'clock streaming. So I'm Kenneth Grunfelder signing off. Thank you for listening. Have a good day. And I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Take care.